Hello and welcome to this new Developer Quick Takes episode. My name is Philippe Ozil, I'm a Developer Evangelist at Salesforce. And in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how we can enable Apex Code coverage overlay for Visual Studio Code. You'll find that it's pretty simple to enable and you don't have anything to install. As a side note, I also presented a similar episode on how you can enable just code coverage for Visual Studio Code. We are now in Visual Studio Code and I have opened a project which may seem familiar to you. This is called DreamHouse. It's one of the many sample applications that we provide to get started. And this project contains a bunch of uh, Apex classes here that we'll need to test. Now, generally, if you have VS Code, you likely have also the right extensions and we provide a set of extensions in the Salesforce extension pack. And among those extensions, you'll find the Apex extension. This means that you already have everything you need to show the test code coverage visually on your code. The only thing you need to do is to enable that setting, which is not enabled by default. Let me help you uh, do that. So you want to go in code here and you want to go in preferences and settings. From there, you want to search for Apex coverage. You should find only one result, which is the one we need. This is called retrieve test code coverage. By default, this is disabled, and the reason why this is disabled is that we do not collect code coverage when we run tests within Visual Studio Code in order to save time. This requires a bit of extra processing. So we're going to toggle that, and we can close the settings. We now need to rerun tests in order to calculate the code coverage. So we can do that directly here on the sidebar and run all Apex tests with this little green arrow here. This reruns all tests. And you can also see that at the bottom that you can do the same thing with lining up components tests. Now, tests are going to take a few seconds to run. Now that tests are run and are passing, let's go to our Apex class. So I'm going to take the property controller here. Right now, the code coverage is not showing up. I still need to enable it. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there is this free vertical bar icon here, which is called a hamburger that you need to click in order to enable code coverage. So I'm clicking it and you can now see that you have green when lines are covered. And you'll see that this happens for anything that is dynamic. And for example, here we have dynamic parameters. This is why only those lines are highlighted. The rest that is static is not directly highlighted. Now you'll also notice that on the side of the window here, I have some red parts on my file here, which indicates that I have code that is not covered. If I scroll down to get there, you'll find that some of this code here is not covered by tests. And this is indicated in red. Now, you won't find any of that in the original sample app because everything is covered there. What I did for the sake of the demo is that I've disabled some of the test code to show you some uncovered code. Let me show you. If I go now on my classes and if I look at the test property controller class, I can see that I've disabled some of my test code. I'll re-enable it by uncommenting it. I'll save my file and I'll push it back to the org. Remember that part. It's extremely important to deploy your changes back to the org because the Apex tests run on the org. They do not run in your local environment. If you forget to deploy them, the tests won't work. You can either do deployment with the terminal like uh, SFDX for source push or you can also do it with the tools with the org browser, for example. So I'm going to push that and we're going to be able to rerun our test. All right, it's deployed. We can now rerun the test by going into the test menu and re-execute those tests. I'm going to close this test file. We can go back here, wait for the tests to rerun. And what we'll need to do here to refresh the code coverage overlay is to toggle the uh, code coverage on and off. So I'm clicking once to disable it, clicking it again to re-enable it. And you can now see that the entire file is green. We have reached 100% code coverage for this particular file. That's it for this developer quick take. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're interested, you can also look at the other episode on enabling just code coverage overlay in Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new today, make sure to like this video. If you want to get more content like this, push directly to you, click subscribe and that bell to get notifications.